I experienced the war in Japan. And I, war means the food becomes so important. And especially if you have a garden, you can always, you know, you can have a food, share with the friends, yeah. What do you feel people that are just starting to get into local peace economy, what would you give as an advice for them? Just grow their own food first. It takes a lot of patience mm -hmm. and a diligence. Mm -hmm. Do the gardening and feel it. It's directly, it comes to you and it nourishes. If you eat your own food that grown in your garden, it's so satisfying. It makes me happy. In terms of spirituality in a garden, it's connecting to the earth, right? Yeah. So also, it goes... things grow from a seed to the plant or the tree. You learn so much, you know, so much. And the process teaches a kind of patience, yeah. <laughs> it teaches a divine patience. Right, right. You can't say, hey, see it grow, grow. You <laughs> cannot <laughs> say <absolute>. that. <laughs> Do you find that it's something that has um, fed you beyond the food? It's yeah, fed you. Yeah, yeah, my heart. Your heart. Mm -hmm. And community, too. Yeah. Both and it places. makes me feel good about my garden can feed so many people. Mm. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part about the garden? Things grow. If you pay attention, they're very faithful. Mm -hmm. Look at that, you know, palm. And we had a, a, today in the lunch, we had a, a water from mm. living, you know, farm right next to you. And you drink this healing water. Water from palm, it's really, coconuts, really is very healing. Mm -hmm. It's a medicine. Mm -hmm.